Hey everyone, welcome back to another Bullish Bears video. I'm your host Kevin and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to efficiently use the TradingView platform for backtesting. I'm going to show you guys some tricks, how you could even sync your charts so that your backtesting shows you on multiple time frames, and how to pick random days so you could really look to backtest. So let's get into it and I'll show you how it works. So let's start with the basics and that's how to use the replay system. So right now we only have one chart on our screen and we're going to come up to the top middle where we see replay. Now if your screen is a bit smaller, um, you won't see the words replay. It will be zoomed out a little bit and look like a little arrow like this. But for today's example, we do have the full replay button. We're going to click that and that's going to bring up our bar replay system and automatically put you on select bar. So right now we could come back to, let's say, we'll come to the 930 open right here. And we see where crude oil is now at the 930 New York session open. Now another thing we can do is we could change how fast the replay speed is. You can make it very slow, so it sort of takes its time. You could get a bit of an accurate back test. You know, it's very slow though, so you could take time, have it sort of play out in the background. Might be a little too slow on that point one. So I would definitely recommend maybe start with the one at first, play around with that. You can see how it goes pretty slow. Bring it up to times three, moves a little bit faster. And then times 10, it moves super quick. I'm um, really not going to be able to effectively backtest with this, but let's say you are backtesting from over here and you want to see price return to your spot, but you don't want to wait too long, right? So if I want to wait for price to hit this zone and I'm on my 1x right now, it might take a little while for us to hit that. So if I'm backtesting for the time being, I might want to bring it up to 5 and wait for us to come back. And once we get a little bit closer to that zone, that's when I could sort of start to slow it down. So that's just one of the few tricks you could do with the replay system. Now, some other tools and options the replay system offers is going to be these buttons down here. Now, this button will jump you to the real-time chart, so it'll basically take you out of the replay system and put you back with the replay select a bar tool. Let's go back here for a moment. Um, the other button is this little skip. This is just going to print out the next candle for you, so you don't have to really let it play out. You can sort of click this through, and it'll play out itself, but that sort of gets rid of the whole automated mode for us. Um, and then we also have this little down arrow. This is a very important one because it gives you the option to select bar, select date, which means you could select any date you want to look at, and you could also random bar. So if you do random bar, it's going to place you somewhere random on the chart, and that's a really great way to, you know, check out your back testing and see how well that your strategy is working at any given time in the market. All right, guys, this is when the video goes from cool to mind blowing. So the trading view chart, the replay system, it's a fantastic tool, great system, really awesome for back testing and strategizing with our systems in trading. But how can it be that much better? Well, if you at least have the essential plan of trading view, you're able to come out to the layout select and have two or more charts. When you have your two charts up, now you could have your replay system on all charts. So you're able to have the five minute on one chart, the 15 on another, or let's say the five minute and the hourly, the 15 and the hourly, the one minute and the five minute, whatever time frames you're looking for, you can now look at both of them on the replay system at the same exact time. This is a huge benefit for day traders. That way we could get an idea of how does the 15 minute move with the five minute, what should we look for on the five that we might miss on the 15 and vice versa. And again, you could put any time frame in here. You could do the one hour, you could do the one hour and the five minute, whatever you're looking to do. And as you see, while the five minutes moving, it takes longer for this one hour to form. So again, this is a fantastic, really great tool to use on TradingView. And it really will help you guys benefit when you back test your strategy and your system. Um, so to make this a little bit easier, I do want to say, come to sync and layout, go to symbol, unless you want to run this against maybe the ES and the NASDAQ, or you want to look at back testing on two symbols at the same time, which I wouldn't recommend. I would probably recommend staying on just one symbol. So we'll turn our symbol on, put the crosshair on as well, and then go to date range. Now, when you move your chart on one screen, it's going to move it on the other, which again is just going to make it that much easier for you to back test. 
we're going to play this out. We have the five minute on the left. We have the hourly on the right. Again, this is a fantastic tool. I highly recommend anybody who's a day trader, anybody using TradingView, use this, take advantage of it. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned.